Yeah. Taz Mack catches up with us in the pit lane in Ockell. Let's have a little look back towards Oulton Park. Not as good around as Silverstone. Quite tricky for you, but you chipped away through the weekend and got some solid points. Yeah, that's it. Um, the test at Oulton we had the week prior to the race, it was uh, the initial feeling was okay, but it just didn't come that easy really, which was unfortunate. And it sort of carried on into the race weekend. And then the from basically from FP2 to FP3, we made a big change of the bike, but unfortunately we couldn't try it because it rained. And then that sort of put us on the back foot a little bit. I didn't make Q2, which was probably my fault really. And then starting from 12th uh, wasn't ideal, but and, and made a mistake on the first lap of race one as well. So but I came through to eighth, which is all right. Raced to a finished fifth and was sort of uh, a lot closer to the front, which was which was good. So it's positive for when we go back there in it, towards the end of the year. And then, um, and yeah, looking onto Donington, uh, it's another new track for everyone, really. It's because of the, the national track. We haven't actually raced there yet. So looking forward to that. And uh, obviously it's close to home. It's my second home round as well as Knock Hill. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking back towards Alton, that's one of these weekends that you just have to bag the points. You have to make sure you're scoring and not do something silly and throw it away. Yeah, that's it. The I was championship leader or joint championship leader going into it and and sort of a bit of damage limitation really, trying to just get the best result you can. And yeah, to get fifth I was quite happy with really and still to come out joint championship leader but with another person. But um, yeah, it's uh, sort of try and put that weekend behind us and... and think positively for, for Donington and it was a track that I've gone well at in the past so looking forward to it and yeah can't wait. With going to Donington being your second home round not the home round uh, you know is there more expectation on your shoulders here because it's so local? Uh, I don't not really there's a lot of my friends and family come to it but apart from that uh, it's just another track really and um, yeah I think the Donington should should suit uh, our R1, it's quite fast and flowing. Not really any stop-start corners, which is good for us. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. As I said before, keep saying looking forward to it. Uh, now, one other thing before we before we just like, lose Sorry. you for the rest of the day. Yeah. Uh, Silverstone had difficulties. Yeah. Are, are the team over that now? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's, it was one of them things. The team were gutted for Jason and gutted for me in a way that because we both lost the win in a sense in race one, which was unfortunate. And then um, obviously Jason having the breakdown in race two, he couldn't make amends. But luckily for me on my side that I could go out and win and, and get the first win for the team for the year, which was, uh, yeah, really good and good for me as well. So um, it's nice. So I've been going all winter thinking, when I, I wonder when I'm going to win my first race. So to do it in the first round is, uh, is perfect for me. Get it out of the way and sort of concentrate on the rest of the year. And yeah, I'm in a perfect position at the moment and nearly had the perfect weekend at Silverstone with two poles as well. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all going good at the moment. Best of luck for Donington. Remember, you can get your Knock Hill tickets. They are on sale. You can get ones that Taz has actually signed. You can do that by checking the website or you can call the girls on 01383 72337 and get your Bennett's British Superbike tickets for the Knock Hill round where he is going to be absolutely flying. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha